intrauterine contraception. Intrauterine contraception, known as the COIL, is a popular form of long-acting, reversible contraception. It's chosen more and more by women of any age, whether or not they've been pregnant before. It's over 99% effective, more effective than condoms or even the pill. It doesn't get in the way of sex, unlike condoms. Once fitted, you can forget about contraception for three, five or ten years. Once removed, your fertility will return to whatever is normal for you within days. Importantly, IUD or IUS devices do not protect you against sexually transmitted infections. We recommend using condoms until both you and your partner have had an STI screen. There are two types, the hormonal intrauterine system, or IUS, and the copper intrauterine device, or IUD. Both are small and flexible, with two threads at one end. The hormonal IUS works by releasing a tiny amount of a hormone called progesterone, much less than the pill releases. The progesterone thins the lining of the womb, which prevents a pregnancy from settling there. It also thickens the mucus in the cervix, stopping sperm getting in. The hormonal IUS takes seven days to be effective and lasts up to five years, or longer if you are over 45. The copper IUD contains no hormones. The copper kills sperm and eggs, which prevents fertilisation, and it stops a pregnancy implanting if fertilisation has already happened. It's effective as soon as it's been fitted, and it lasts for five or ten years. It can also be used for emergency contraception. Before the procedure. Both types can be fitted at any point in your cycle, provided there's no chance you could be pregnant. We ask that you don't have unprotected sex for at least three weeks before fitting. This includes sex when your method of contraception has passed its expiry date or using withdrawal or natural methods of contraception. Women with irregular bleeding may require extra tests. If this is the case, speak to your GP first. It's a good idea to have a light meal and to take your usual pain relief to reduce possible discomfort an hour or two before the procedure. How is the procedure done? The appointment lasts about 30 minutes, with the device fitting usually only taking 5 to 10 minutes. You'll meet the clinician who's fitting your device. An assistant will also be there to support and reassure you. We'll ask about your medical history, do a pregnancy test, an STI test if needed, and answer any questions. Then we'll carry out an internal vaginal examination to check the entrance to the womb or cervix before fitting your chosen device. The procedure can be uncomfortable, but half of women experience little or no pain. We'll provide extra pain relief if you need it. After the procedure. Most women feel well enough to leave the clinic straight away and can travel home by bus, taxi or car. You may like to bring someone with you to take you home. We'll explain how to check the threads that show the device is in the correct position. You will need to check this once a month and we'll give you a card with the expiry date written on it. Keep this safe. We'll give you an information sheet to remind you about post-fit advice and how to check for problems. Most women don't need a follow-up appointment, but you must come back if you're concerned about anything, for example, lost threads or pain. The device can be removed at any time. This process is much easier than having it fitted. If you want it removed and still don't wish to be pregnant, you must use condoms or avoid sex for seven days before removal. Side effects. Most women have some period-like discomfort afterwards, but this usually settles after a few hours. You can use your usual pain relief. In the first three to six months, the hormonal IUS can result in lighter, unpredictable bleeds known as spotting. This usually settles into infrequent lighter bleeds or no periods. If spotting persists, we might suggest you also take the contraceptive pill for a while. Some women notice hormonal side effects in the first few months, such as headaches or spottier skin, breast tenderness or weight gain, but as the womb lining thins, less hormone is absorbed, so these symptoms often settle. Conversely, the copper IUD can cause heavier periods, but this may improve with time. Less commonly, there can be painless ovarian cysts, which often disappear within months. Risks 
most women have no problems. Occasionally, the device can be pushed out of the womb. This is most common in the first year of having the device. There's a small risk of infection. This is most common in the first three weeks, after which the risk becomes much lower. Very rarely, the device can go through the wall of the womb during insertion. If this is recognised at the time, the device will be removed. Otherwise, it will have to be removed later with keyhole surgery. In the extremely unlikely event that you fall pregnant with a device in place, there's a slightly higher risk of a pregnancy outside the womb, an ectopic pregnancy. If you think you've become pregnant with a device in, you should seek medical help urgently. Questions or concerns? If you'd like to see or chat to a member of staff about any part of this video, please get in touch.